Hello, my friends. This is Dwight from Forest Glory 700 coming back at you with a quick video. And in this video, I just wanted to comment about a situation that's happening here in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And the situation that we are faced with here in Toronto is that there is apparently a, a teacher in one of our public schools that apparently attended school during this past Halloween in blackface. And uh, so now there's apparently damage control because black faces and black people everywhere are traumatized by the idea that uh, educational professional uh, would dare to go to school during the season of Halloween and come in blackface because that would just be horrendous, right? And I could imagine that when he attended school in blackface, he was referring to any other person who naturally has a black face or is of African ancestry. He started hurling insults and referring to them as niggers and monkeys and melon heads and all that stuff. I could just see that happening right now, that that's exactly how he conducted himself. But based on what I've heard through the mainstream media, and I don't really believe anything they have to say, even if... This, not, this may not even be a legitimate story. It might be just something to create uh, racial tensions. But my understanding of the events as they have narrated it is that he just showed up to school in blackface. Now, my understanding is that there's been some kind of anti-black protest going on where um, people, they don't just want him to be I guess reprimanded or whatever. I don't think he did anything wrong. This this stuff is so stupid. But they literally want this teacher to be fired. They want him to, to lose his job. And the last time I checked, this is Canada. And our current Prime Minister, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, he has a past history of showing himself in blackface. And there's even uh, photos of him being in blackface. And we had an election that just went by this September of 2021, and he won. He's still technically in office. I don't understand why there was an uh, outcry throughout Canada for him to be removed immediately from the highest office in the land because he dared to present himself in blackface. Does anyone possibly see the hypocrisy of what I'm presenting here? I think we live in a day and an age where people are hypersensitive. And we are being rewarded to behave and act like a bunch of crybabies and to look to those who are supposed to be our political leaders, they're not mine, but that are supposed to be our political leaders as a means to rescue us from mean people that may say or do things that we don't agree with. We need to grow up. We need to act like mature adults, assess each, in each situation individually. I don't believe this teacher, in terms of his actions, was in any way being malevolent in his actions. I think he probably just thought it was something cute to do, and he did it. Um, I really don't have an issue with it at all. I think the difference would be if he went there and blackfaced, and then he presented very some serious stereotypes of black people and uh, started making certain racial comments that would sort of go along with the idea that he has of being in blackface, but none of that was presented. So all of this is quite stupid. And I think people are buying into the whole cancel culture and the, all the BS that's associated with it. We're all being played like a fiddle and, you know, people are just going along with this level of immaturity, I would say, and a lack of self-respect. Like, Grow up. That's all I have to say. Just grow up and conduct yourself like a reasonable human being.